Hello everyone, it's been a while since my last War Machines video, but it's been two years that I started to do, more than two years ago I started to play this game and I have to tell you that it's a bit boring for me, it started to be boring, but the other problem is that uh, uh, it's too resource hungry, at least for me. And uh, without making the video, it's still not the best experience to play it. But there's a lot of new things uh, I wanted to show you. Unfortunately, one of them is not visible now but probably everyone partic participated already in at least one uh, championship it's a good idea it's a refreshing new thing and uh, i think it's worth participate first of all you have to know that you don't have to uh, go with your best tank you can choose from any tier you want so you can play in tier 1 if you want and that's the level I tried it out and uh, it wasn't bad I can't tell I cannot say that it was a great success for me I uh, yeah this less uh, which is so I uh, accomplished the first uh, round and I finished at the mid table in the second round and it cost some money but I got some new ammunition that also a new thing uh, since my last video which is more than a half year ago around it so it's another great idea that now we have ammunition to play with uh, back to the championship you have 10 rounds uh, 10 rounds in the first round yeah 10 matches in the first round and uh, you can play an additional round, an additional match for some diamonds. Uh, in my experience that wouldn't made change. I made to the second round without the additional match, but sometimes it can be very helpful, so if it matters if you can uh, go to the second round or not it's worth that diamond i think but if it doesn't matter then you shouldn't uh, spend diamonds for that that's also true in the second round uh, in my league there were very big differences so uh, in this 20 match and the 21st match uh, for diamond wouldn't matter anything so I wouldn't wouldn't be able to do any positions better even if I do more than 10 kills instead of zero kill match so the, the gaps are so the gaps were so big that it wouldn't matter but on the other hand, if there is a few uh, kills you need to get better position, that there are cases when it's worth the time, I think, at least. That's my opinion. And it's also a great thing that you don't need fuel, so you can just 
go and play the 10 rounds with one go and for the 20 rounds with one go if you have enough time and patience as well, of course uh, what is that right. so I, I think uh, you already know the championship maybe better than me and Of course, you have to use some patterns and good goals if you want to get a good position in the championship. So, without them, it's it's a mid-table position, like me. And the other new thing are the ammunition. As you can see, I have a lot of high explosive ammunition. So, uh, it's the easiest one you can get from, uh, for example, gold crates as well. So, it's, it's pretty easy, you can pretty easily open ammunition from gold crates. So, I, I like that. It, you don't have to uh, use the normal ammunition, you can use the special ammunition as well, because you get enough supplies of them, I think, at least. Uh, it's, it, there are cases when it comes handy, so it's worth to use it, but this high explosive is short range, so uh, don't use it when uh, the enemy is too far away. And if it's a bit closer, then you still don't need to use it it's not always worth it it's it's for very close combats when the enemy is next to you because the normal shot can uh, do more damage in mid-range as well so but from next to the enemy tank it does big damage uh, the rocket High accuracy shares for long range combat. I didn't have much experience with that. I, I shot it three times and missed all the time, so uh, the three uh, shells I have is from the championship, so that's also a source of ammunition, I think. And uh, the armor piercing it's a great it penetrates enemy shields and uh, there's difference when you pull up a shield and you respawn and get the shield it's different color and the uh, spawn after the spawn the shield you get is not penetratable with the armor piercing emulsion as well so it works only with ethics, I think. I never tried it, but I hope it works that way. So it's work only in the shield you uh, pull up for the shield shield item that you can use. I hope I speak louder than the witch. And just because I'm here, I try to play around. Because why not? Okay, I'm back from a crash. At least it wasn't a crash, but the recording is stopped, unfortunately. So, yeah. I made one kill with the match and I cut it out completely because uh, it wasn't a really successful thing. So I still wanted to say a few few words about uh, the text since I still don't have any tech on my Azar because 
I hope that it won't be more expensive, but it is as you go further in the tech tree. So this is a bit unmotivating for me, but since I played in tier 1 uh, the challenges, not uh, the challenge, but the championship, since no tier 1 challenge, as far as I remember, so I currently have reactive armor equipped. But first, I equipped heavy uh, because I thought uh, increased armor and damage uh, and lose some speed is it's worse. And actually, it's worse. You won't recognize that you are so much slower, but you will see that you make more damage which is great but after playing uh, against others with reactive armor I recognize that it's even better okay you make less damage and your armor is weaker but uh, with this reactive armor if you face against two enemies at once it's crucial since one of them hits you and the other one cannot hurt you because you have a shield or I don't know how the ammunition works uh, with that but usually uh, the two enemy shoots at, at the same time and only one of them will damage you and that's a great advantage it's 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 very good so if you go into a battle against three or four enemies and only one can shot you and the others have to wait if they want to hit you it's 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 a great advantage and so I started to use that and and then I think it's the best. I didn't even get the hunter tech because I don't know, it's, it doesn't seem so advantageous then you are invisible and that worked for me very well. So I know it's a quite long video without any gameplay, but and I'm, I'm just commenting. But unfortunately, uh, with the current version of the game and with my current phone, it's very hard to record anything in that place. So it's it's an unfortunate it's unfortunate, but that we have now at least I have now. <laughs> uh, I wanted to mention that I set up a Discord server. You can find the invitation link in the description and you can join it. You will be welcome there and I will be happy to uh, start discussing uh, about war machines or any other uh, game, not just phone games or basically any game you want to talk about and uh, and that's all basically I uh, it seems there is a need for a better place to discuss things about war machines and that's why I decided to create the server uh, and basically that's all so yeah i have a new plan uh, it's not worth training it's inside one play too much this game and in the last few weeks i didn't even started that game so yeah i started once by mistakes 
so it's it's not worth to join my clan but I uh, quit from my previous clan because of, of my inactivity and I didn't want to hold up my entire clan by not playing this game and that's why I decided this way uh, so don't forget discord channel if you feel like um, and thanks for watching basic that's all for now I hope I had some new things to say for you at least some interesting things and thanks for watching again see you in the next one bye